Hello Libra and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on Romany Tarot. I'm going to be doing a reading for you for the month of July. Remember my readings for the next few months will be short and sweet. Hopefully they'll be sweet. <laughs> okay so before I start your reading Libra I'm going to pick up on the energies here. So I feel family, family feud, arguments, disagreements, maybe something along them lines. This might be um a month to take things a little easy as well and don't burn yourself out also someone's feeling a bit resentful uh, or you or your mood towards someone is unforgiving that's how i'm feeling so your mood towards someone is unforgiving you're, you're being evasive or someone else's this could this could possibly be someone else towards you Libra but I do feel quite strongly that for some of you this isn't going to be for everyone that it's you towards them so you're being a bit evasive or pretending you're not seeing them or not bothered or something like that but it really is you're bothered you really are bothered because uh communication is an issue here uh so there's a need to communicate here because you do have the aqua is it the Aqua Aura uh, Crystal Angel card, which I'll read after I've done the reading. But it does say uh, healthy communication in relationships. So something here, your person as well, you're dealing with someone older than you. Um, I don't know if you're looking back on something as well. But whatever is coming in for you, Libra, it's coming in very soon. Okay. So let's just have a look at the cards and see what we have. So I've given them a good shuffle. So let's have a look, Libra. We're going to have a look and see what we have. What do we have for Libra? Oh, okay. King of Cups. Okay, that's the energy you're in. All right. You feel very deeply, Libra. All right, whether you like to admit it or not, you do feel very deeply, but you keep it all under wraps. You never show or uh, uh, try to show your true deep emotions with the King of Cups. All right, also, because um, this is you at this particular time. All right, giving nothing away of expression, expression in uh your expressions, your uh, mannerism, or anything like that. You're not giving anything away of how you truly feel. And remember, this is, doesn't have to be one-to-one -one personal intimate relationships. This could be family relationships. It could be your friends, the relationships you have with your friends, your work colleagues, a partner, anything like that. Okay, I think I've shuffled them enough. Right, so we're working with the Druid Tarot. So let's see what we have. A lot of people have been getting this. Who just got these cards? Aries just got these two cards. No, that one. I'm getting that one, I think. But it doesn't matter. Anyway. Okay, so uh, as I said, your central position, King of Cups, all right, concealing, uh, feeling on a very deep level. Uh, you do care about people. You do care what's going on. Uh, and yeah, but showing it is another story. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look. In your past position, you have the Princess of Pentacles, all right? So really studying something here, I feel, for some of you uh, Libras. So really looking into something here. Uh, trying to figure something out as well. So you're trying to figure something out, but I will pull clarifiers on these cards, Libra, okay? So in your foundation, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse, all right? For me, uh, the energy I'm picking up here is overwhelming. Um, usually, the Nine of Swords for me in reverse means that you're coming out of that state of uh, having sleepless nights. But for this reading, I'm feeling this energy that I'm picking up here is quite overwhelming. You really are having really some sleepless nights over something here. What that is, I don't know. Only you know what that is. Okay, Libra. All right. And here we find it again. A 
Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Again, two cards. If you look at them, they're covering their face. If you look at these two cards, both cards, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. They're both covering their face in, in some sort of anguish, in some sort of grief, some sort of, uh, you know, why did I, I don't know, it could be, why did they do that? Why did I mess this up? It could be anything, but, you know, you're really sort of, it's really bothering you. Whatever's happening is bothering you, all right? It's playing on your mind. I'll say it as it is. And you also have the Princess of Pentacles in reverse, closing your heart up in the future. Uh, whatever's happened to you in the past, Libra, it's no excuse to close your heart off, completely off, with, you know, moving into the future. You know, get in touch with your feelings, express yourself. You know, it, it's, what can I say? The energy I'm picking up here is quite anxious. There's, there's anxiety. There's maybe some sort of stress, anxiety. Um. For some of you, even some sort of depression. I would say some sort of depression here with all these cards being reversed. Okay, I'm going to pull some clarifiers and see what comes out. Okay. So say so whatever's happening for you is it's not intentionally. So I'd say you've got you've got a lot of love there, Libra. You've got a lot of love to give. You're very understanding. You're very compassionate. You very um you feel as I say on a very deep level. All right, but showing that is is an, maybe another story. But you are really trying. You are trying to work on it because you have the Eight of Pentacles. So you're really trying to work on that in some way. All right. About expressing your feelings and how you feel. All right. So if we look at your foundation, I say this anxiety, there's a need here with the Seven of Pentacles is, you know, are you really you really need to think about um, how you're feeling there's a lot of feelings. I'm getting the energy of a lot of feelings coming up here. All right. And with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a card of looking at something maybe from a different perspective, a bit like the Angman energy, really, I'm picking up with this Seven of Pentacles. It's like really looking at something closely and say, seeing what you can do or how you can fix something. As I say, communication comes in. It's about communicating effectively with someone um you know or you know whoever this could be a boss it could be anybody you know but let's have a look so that was uh in your foundation so here we have the five of wands all right so still just looking at you're an onlooker libra some of you this isn't going to be for everyone but you you're you're just observing you're observing something, you know, is something worth fighting for? That's what I want to ask you. Is something, I don't mean physically, I mean, it's, you know, is something worth going after? Uh, you know, is there, you know, nuts to the competition sort of thing? Or are you giving up? Are you just watching? And you're saying, you know, let them get on with it. I'll just, I'll just be a bystander and watch, you know, and see the outcome. That's the energy I'm picking up there. Okay, in your focus, all right, again, we have that five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, not included, you know, everyone's against you sort of thing. You know, this could be you or somebody else, remember. But again, the ten of wands, you know, it, it's, it's something that's hard to bear. It's a burden that's hard to bear. It's carrying a burden on your shoulders. It's, it's not making life easier for you. Sorry, I sound like a neg negative Nelly, but I'm just picking up on the energies that I get here with the cards. Don't knock yourself out. Remember here, we have this, uh, you might, what I wanted to say is that things might, things are a little, things could be a little easier, all right? If you don't 
as I say, don't burn yourself out. So I've got I've always got my little notes here, my little bullet points, because I'll pick up on these energies with the oracles and I, I just write down how I'm feeling. So something, you know, is a little bit too, too much. That's what I want to say. It's just too much. Are you being or is someone else are you or somebody else? Remember, it's not just you, Libra. This could be somebody's energy you're really picking up. Is, is something over dramatic here? Is someone being too dramatic about something? Dramatizing. You know, it's uh, you know, it's about watching watching yourself, watching your health. You know, you've got to start making yourself, you know, doing what makes you feel happy. All right, Libra. Okay, in the future position, okay, you're closing off your heart. You're not chasing anymore. All right, the Prince of Wands. Right, which is like the knight of wands. So he's not chasing anymore. He's not putting in the effort. He's uh he's give up. Okay, he's give up. So the my advice is please, whatever's happening in your situation, Libra, please please don't give up on it. Use, you know, this it's never too late or whatever, you know, use effective, as I say, effective communication. And I really want to read that card right now to you, what this says. So it's got healthy communication in relationships. You've got the aqua aura. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. All right. So as you express how you're feeling and what, what you want and, you know, getting something off your chest, that ten of wands to me feels like you needing to get something off your chest. All right. So, you know, I've had heart to heart discussion with somebody or, or, or you know, maybe a, could be more than one person that you need. You really need to get things off your chest and really sort of don't be afraid to show your feelings and show how you feel. All right, so that's what I want to say to you. All right, we have the star in reverse, so you're not you're not following your true north star, as they say. <coughs> you're not getting that true wish fulfillment that you should be getting. All right, you don't, don't be ashamed or anything like that of what you are, who you are. You are you are who you are, okay, Libra. People accept you as you are, or not at all. All right, so you know, express yourself more. All right, sort of put yourself out there, and really, uh, you get you know, be noticed. Don't get noticed, but be noticed. All right, Libra. I hope that helped in some way. Um, I do wish you all the best of luck. I'm sending you a lots of love and blessings, honestly. Uh, this feels a quite sort of not drastically nothing to be uh, alarmed about or anything, but it's just how you know you could make be making yourself feel worse than what you need to be feeling, you know. So really try and express yourself. Don't hold back on on your feelings and how you feel. Don't worry about what people think and, and other people. You just worry about yourself, okay, Libra. So I'll leave it there, as I say, sending you lots of love and blessings. And I wish you all the best of luck wherever you are in the world. And um, please do join me again when I do be back for my June readings. So until then, please do take care. Bye, Libra.